Hey, second grade. Um, this week for reading, we're gonna talk about making inferences. And I have a little handy dandy chart on my board um, that helps us figure out what is making inferences? What does making inferences mean? So I'm gonna read my chart that I have in the back there. Um, it says that making inferences, so when you make an inference, you can use clues to come to your own conclusion. So people who infer are like detectives who are always looking out for clues to help them better understand stories and pictures. So basically making an inference is when you look at clues in a story or in a picture to help you figure out what's going on. Sometimes someone will draw a picture, but they won't tell us what's happening in the picture. Um, or sometimes someone will write a story, but they won't give us the entire story. They'll just give us some bits and pieces. And then they'll tell you to guess what happens next or guess why this person did that thing. Um, so when we make inferences, that's when we're making guesses, when we're trying to figure something out based on clues that are in the picture or in the story. Um, so all of this week, you guys are gonna be playing detective this week during reading, um, and you guys are gonna try to figure out your inferences, your guesses, based on the clues that are in pictures and stories. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of examples. So here's an example that I have. Um, I see a lot of different things going on in this picture. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who drew it. I don't know who drew this picture. And they didn't really tell me what was going on in this picture. They just drew the picture and that was it. They didn't give us any information. So based on clues in this picture, we are able to figure out what is happening. So what do you think is happening in this picture? Let's look at some clues. The first clue I see is that I see a school in the background. Another clue I see is that they're wearing graduation hats. I see two girls wearing graduation hats and graduation robes, and they look happy. So based on those clues, based on the clue that they're in front of a school, they're wearing graduation caps and graduation robes, based on those clues, I think these girls just graduated. We don't know if they graduated high school, if they graduated kindergarten, if they graduated college. We don't know that because the person who drew it didn't tell us. They didn't tell us what's going on. But based on what they're wearing, where they are, and how they look, based on the information that I see, based on the clues I see, I'm able to make an inference. I'm able to guess that I think these girls just graduated. So my inference is that these girls just graduated. Let's look at a couple other examples. I have another few examples here. Again, I don't know who drew this picture. They didn't give me any information. They just drew this picture and that was it. That's all I see. I see a bunch of clues going on in order to figure out what's happening here. I can look at a bunch of different clues. First, I see two women. I see they're both happy because they're both smiling. And I see that this one has a present in her hand that's unopened and this one is opening up a present. So based on what I see, I think I can infer, I can make an inference that they're celebrating something. And I know we usually get presents. I know from my past and from things that have happened to me in my life, I know that I usually get presents on my birthday and I get presents on Christmas. That's when I usually get presents. So I think that it must be either Christmas or her birthday. Um, I know my family also celebrates El Dia de los Reyes in January. It's Three Kings Day. And we also get presents there. So maybe, maybe they're celebrating Three Kings Day too. I don't know. It doesn't tell us in the picture. But based on what I see, I am able to make an inference, a guess. So I think that they must be celebrating either 
birthday, Christmas, or Three Kings Day because I see that they look happy and they're opening some presents. So that's what I'm able to look at the clues in the picture and that's what I think happened in this picture. Let's look at a couple other ones. Let's look at this picture. Let's look at this guy. Um, again, I don't know who wrote this. I don't know who drew this picture. I don't know if it was part of a story. I don't know anything. I have no information. All I see is what you guys see on the screen. So I'm going to look at some clues to figure out what's going on. So some clues I see. I see snow falling. I see that he has a hat and a scarf, mittens. I see a shovel. He's also holding a shovel. So based on the clues in this picture, I'm going to make an inference that he's probably outside shoveling snow. That's what I think. I think that this guy is outside shoveling some snow. I know he's not inside because there's snow around him, so I know he's not inside. I know he's not inside because he's wearing a hat and gloves and, and a scarf and his coat. He's, he's all bundled up. and. I'm never all bundled up like that when I'm inside. So I know he's not inside. He has to be outside because of the way he's dressed. Um, I can use the way he's dressed as the clues. So since I can look at the way he's dressed and what he's holding and what I see in the background, I know he must be outside, right? And it must be snowing and he must be bundled up because it must be what season. Well, I know it doesn't snow in the summer it doesn't snow in the spring. It snows in the winter. So it's, I'm probably looking at a picture of winter. I'm probably looking at a picture of a guy shoveling snow outside in the winter. And again, I'm using my clues. I'm being a detective. And I'm using my clues that are in this picture in order to make my inference, in order to make my guess of what I think is going on here. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple more. Oh, look at this picture. What do we think is going on here? Let's make some inferences. Let's look for some clues first. The first clue I see is that he is very happy to be eating all those pancakes. He is super happy to be eating those. Um, but I also see that he's sitting at a table. He's sitting at a table and he's holding a fork and a knife. I think that he's probably eating breakfast. Um, because these are pancakes that he's eating. So I think he's probably eating breakfast because that's usually a breakfast food. And I think he's at a restaurant because he's sitting at a table that has a really nice tablecloth. Um, and I know that at my house, we don't usually have a fancy tablecloth in my house or anything. So I think he's probably at a restaurant and it's probably morning because I see, I see pancakes. So the author, whoever drew this picture, Whoever wrote this story, they didn't give me any information about what's going on. It's up to me to look for clues to find out what is happening in this picture. The clue is that he's at a fancy table eating pancakes. And based on the fancy table and the pancakes, I'm able to figure out that he's probably eating breakfast because it's, so it's probably morning because we eat breakfast in the morning and we eat pancakes in the morning. So he's probably eating breakfast in the morning at a restaurant. That's what I think is happening based on the picture that I'm seeing. So every time you guys see a picture or every time, anytime you guys read a story, um, someone might ask you what you think of something. Maybe they'll ask you, what do you think is about to happen in this story? Or what do you think this person is feeling? You can always look, even if the person doesn't tell you how they're feeling, you can always look at their face and say, hmm, I see a smile, so he's probably feeling happy, right? So whenever you are making an inference, whenever you're making a guess to try to figure something out, Always look at the clues that are in the pictures, or if there's no pictures, then look at the clues in the story. Look at the sentences. Look at the thing that the author told you. Um, so always look for clues to help you figure out what's happening. Um, and these clues can be the things that are happening in the picture, but clues can also be what you know, right? What you know from your own life. For example, when I was talking to you about this picture, 
I used my own life as clues. I used the pictures because I know that the girls were happy and they were getting a present, but I used my own life to know that I usually get presents on my birthday and on Christmas and for Three Kings Day. I used stuff that actually happens in my life and things that I know about. And because I'm looking at the picture and because I'm looking at things that happen in my life, I'm able to kind of figure out and make inferences about what's happening in this picture. Um, so all of this week, you guys are gonna be talking about making inferences as well. I want you guys this week to look for clues in pictures that you see or look in clues um, in any story that you read. Um, look for clues in the story, in the pictures, and look at clues that you already know. Look at things that happen in your life um, in order to make inferences about what's happening in a story. And one more time, what is an inference? An inference is when you make a guess, so when you make an inference, you use clues to come up with, with your own conclusion. So people who infer, people who make inferences, are kind of like detectives who are always looking out for clues to help them better understand stories and pictures. So an inference is just a fancy word for a guess, but not just any guess, not a crazy guess. An inference is a guess based on the information that you have. So based on the clues and based on your knowledge of things and the way things happen. So all of this week, that's what we're going to be talking about for reading today.